announcing the arrival of the special guests of honor. Be seated. The special guest of honor, His Excellency President Muhammad Buhari, GCFR, the Senate President, the Speaker, House of Representatives. The Chief of Staff to the President, the Chief Justice of the Federation, Minister of Finance, Budget and National Planning, the Chairman, Nigeria Customs Service Board, other ministers here present, the Chief Host, the Controller General of Customs, Service Chiefs, the Inspector General of Police, Heads of Paramilitary Agencies, Heads of MDS, Members of NCS Board, Members of NCS Management, Senior Officers of the Nigeria Customs Service, Members of the Diplomatic Corps, stakeholders, other invited guests, gentlemen of the press, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the CGC, management staff and officers of the Nigeria Customs Service, I am honored to welcome you all to the commissioning ceremony of the new Customs Corporate Headquarters in Abuja. Once again, I am Chief Superintendent of Customs, A.A. Mewada, the National Public Relations Officer, and the Master of Ceremony for this auspicious occasion. Without much delay, we shall be playing a documentary describing the details of this edifice with the title Nigeria Customs Service Corporate Headquarters, a legacy project for sustainable future. Thank you very much. the massiveness of the building. And at the end of the day, what we, are, what we hope to deliver is quality project for a future uh, 
custom access to withdraw the money. Some of us will soon go, but we want to make sure that we do something that uh, we we'll remember by our children. For generations, humanity has always looked toward the future. This has led to innovations spanning from the very first wheel to electronic vehicles. In 2002, members of the Nigeria Customs Service sought to create the first blueprint for a world-class facility that will speak volumes of the envisioned digital future of the Nigeria Customs Service. The painstaking work began on the 27th of March 2007, spanning over 16 years and leading to a series of redesign and remodeling to suit the present day realities. We have delivered today a cost efficient federal building in Abuja. The complex is located in the business district of Maitama with 25,000 square meters of comfortable working space. The building is segmented into Wing A, Wing B, Bridge and Tower. Wing A, B and Bridge are on five floors, while the tower is extended to an immeable elevation of 12 floors. Standing at 40 meters, the towering structure is one of the tallest buildings in Abuja and its environs. The ancillary buildings strategically positioned are the gatehouse, powerhouse, pump house, mosque, chapel, water guard, and chiller yard. In terms of services, the central ACs, the electrical, mechanical panel, the generators. There are two of them, 1,000 kVA and a 500 kVA. But even more importantly, it's the first public building in Abuja that had a 500 kVA UPS, which means the building can stand alone and be powered to do basic functions even without public power supplies and without the generators. The appointment of the Controller General of Customs, Colonel Hamid Ali, retired CFR by President Muhammad Buhari, GCFR, on the 27th of August 2015, with a three hours mandate of reform, restructure, and raising more revenue, is a thoughtful decision that encapsulates a placement of a round peg in a round hole. Present President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria is my mentor in the sense that virtually we do as the stands that some people call me his junior brother. Not because we are bloody related, but I think we are based on principles on the same page. I we are having technical hitches. Before we resolve the, the issue of the audio, we would like to proceed with the next item on the agenda. I shall invite the Comptroller General of Customs, Colonel Hamid Ibrahim Ali, retired CFR, to deliver his welcome remark. The CGC, sir. The President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Muhammad Bahari GCFR, the Honorable Minister of Finance and other ministers here present, the Chief of Staff to Mr. President, other dignitaries 
here present, our chairman of various houses in the National Assembly, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. It is with great honor and profound gratitude that I stand before you today on this momentous occasion of the commissioning of the Nigerian Customs Service Headquarters. We are immensely privileged to have Your Excellency, Mr. President, another esteemed guest present here today. Despite the short notice, we are indeed very grateful. We gave you less than 24 hours notice, but I'm glad you are all here and we thank God for it. This signifies the importance of this event to our beloved nation. May I therefore start by addressing to may I therefore start my address by giving thanks to Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for making this great feat possible. When I assume office as Controller General of Customs in 2015 with the three hours given to me by Mr. President, and they are restructure custom, reform custom, and raise revenue. I was not in doubt that only a comfortable and congenial working environment will facilitate the achievement of this objective. I met on ground the headquarters project, which had started 10 years early. My predecessors had done their bits. However, the number of contract variations slowed down the process. Today, we thank God that we have surmounted all the hurdles with the unvarying support of Mr. President to hold this smart edifice as one of the legacies of his administration. <laughs> Your Excellency, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, you may wish to be informed that the contract for the project was awarded in 2005 to Mrs. D.B. D&B, Nigeria Limited, at the sum of two billion eight hundred and eighty-four million. Two hundred and ninety-three thousand nine hundred and fifty-five naira only. However, due to the change of site from central business district to, to the present site, which is bigger, the contract sum was reviewed from two point four eight billion to nine point six billion in the year 2012. And this is as a result of uh, FCT uh, rules that when they give you a size of land, you must equally come, with, come up with a project that is sizable enough to cover the space that has, give, has been given to you. Due to inflation and some additional works on final review was done in 2022 to the tune of 19 Point six billion naira. Consequently, this smart evidence we are, commi we are commissioning here today was constructed at the cost of 19.6 billion naira only. <laughs> Making it the most if cost effective project ever in the city of Abuja. I would therefore like to express our deepest appreciation and gratitude to Your Excellency, Mr. President, for your firm support and commitment to the Nigerian Customs Service throughout your tenure. Your vision, leadership, and dedication to the development of our nation have been pivotal in shaping the transformation of the Customs Service. Under your guidance, we have witnessed remarkable milestones that have revolutionized our operations and brought us closer to our goal of becoming a world-class customs administration. We are particularly grateful for Your Excellency's recent signing of the Customs Bill into law, bringing an end to the old law which has been in force for the last 63 years. <laughs> this last landmark legislation represents a significant achievement for the Nigerian Customs Service and the entire nation. It provides us with a comprehensive legal framework that aligns with international best practices, strengthens our regulatory capabilities, and fosters trade facilitation. This milestone is a testimony to our commitment to creating an enabling business environment 
promoting transparency and accountability in customs operations. Having made a general appreciation, we must, for the sake of posterity, mention a game-changing intervention from Mr. President to rid the Nigerian Customs Service of corruption and lead it to path of integrity. The presidential approval for the 100% increase in the remuneration of officers and men of the service decisively addressed the welfare of officers and made them less susceptible to corruption. <laughs> Furthermore, we want to express our sincere appreciation for the support extended towards the Customs Modernization Project. This transformative initiative aims to modernize all aspects of Nigerian Customs Service operations through the innovative use of technology. With Your Excellency's backing, we have embarked on a journey to digitalize our processes, enhance efficiency, and improve service delivery. The CMP will not only streamline our operations, but also contribute to trade facilitation, revenue optimization, security, and the overall economic growth of our nation. Mr. President, we cannot thank you enough. Our, great, our gratitude equally goes to the Honorable Minister of Finance, Budget, and National Planning, Haji Azena Shamsuna Ahmed, for your support throughout your tenure. We remain appreciative of your role as Chairman of the Nigerian Customs Service Board in setting broad policies and guiding its, its implementation. Through you, we are also thanking your colleagues in the Federal Executive Council for their support to the service. Today, as we commission this magnificent headquarters, we want to acknowledge the collective efforts of the staff of the Nigerian Customs Service, their unwavering commitment, professionalism, and sacrifice have been instrumental in shaping the successes of our organization. I commend their dedication to duty, particularly in safeguarding our borders, combating smuggling, and ensuring compliance with customs regulations. These milestones would not have been possible without their tireless efforts. Our gratitude also goes to our esteemed stakeholders, including trade associations, private sector partners, international organizations, for their continuous collaboration and support. Their invaluable contributions have been instrumental in shaping our strategies and enhancing the facilitation and promoting a culture of compliance. As we stand on the threshold of a new era for the Nigerian Customs Service, I assure Your Excellency, Mr. President, and all distinguished guests that we will remain resolute in our commitment to delivering our mandate with utmost professionalism, integrity, and efficiency. We pledge to leverage the newly commissioned headquarters, equipped with modern infrastructure and tech technology to drive our transformation and agenda, uh, agenda forward. Let me conclude my speech by once again expressing our heartfelt gratitude to Your Excellency, Mr. President, for your exemplary leadership, guidance, and support. Your commitment to the development of Nigerian Customs Service and our nation as a whole is truly commendable. We stand ready to fulfill our responsibilities and contribute to the socio-economic progress of our beloved nation. Mr. President, we thank you so much and we appreciate you and we believe that you have given the customs a direction that will forever be our child to cause to accept and to, uh, to, to effect the, the laws and rules that you have approved. Once again, I thank you for your coming. I know you have had a very rigorous yesterday, and so therefore I'm very glad, sir, that uh, as a soldier, you could still work up very early morning and be here <laughs> to do some good. Thank you, sir. That was the remarks by the Comptroller General of Customs, who doubles as the Vice Chairman, World Customs Organization, West and Central Africa region. Please a round of applause for the CGC. I shall now invite the Honorable Minister of Finance, Budget and National Planning, 
Chairman Nigeria Custom Service, Chair Nigeria Custom Service Board, Hajia Zainab Shamsuna Ahmed, CON, for her remarks. The Honorable Minister Ma. Assalamu alaikum, Your Excellency, President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, my colleagues, Honorable Ministers that are here today, the Chief of Staff to the President, distinguished and honorable Chairman of the Nigerian Customs Service at the National Assembly, Control General of the Customs, members of the Board of the Nigerian Customs Service, management staff, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. It's really an honor and a privilege for me to be here today to share with you this moment commemorating the commissioning of the new Nigeria Customs Service headquarters. This remarkable event marks a significant milestone in our journey towards a more efficient, modern and robust customs service. As chair of the board of the Nigerian Customs Service and the Minister of Finance, Budget and National Planning, I'm deeply honored to witness the culmination of our collective efforts in establishing this state-of-the-art headquarters. This monumental edifice stands as a symbol of our unwavering commitment to enhancing the operations of the Nigerian Customs Service, to ensure its readiness to tackle the challenges of the 21st century. Nigerian Customs Service has undertaken numerous commendable initiatives that have transformed the organization into a beacon of excellence. The board is proud to be involved in the formulation of broad policies to drive these reforms. Foremost among these have been the successful and regular conduct of promotions for deserving officers within the service. We have recognized the hard work, the dedication, and exceptional performance of our customs personnel, rewarding them through regular promotions to higher ranks and responsibility, and instilling a sense of pride motivation and career progression within the ranks. Furthermore, our officers and men, we have recognized that a motivated and contented workforce is vital to the effective functioning of the service. By improving working environments, enhancing training opportunities, and providing competitive remuneration packages, we have not only bolstered the morale of our staff, but also attracted and retained talented individuals who have committed to safeguarding our borders and facilitating legitimate trade. I must not fail to mention the completion of efforts aimed at creating a more conducive legislative environment for the service through the new Nigerian Customs Service Act 2023, to which His Excellency Mr. President has graciously given his accent recently. Thank you, Your Excellency, for this groundbreaking development. I'm also grateful to my distinguished colleagues in the Federal Executive Council for the usual considerations given to the memos presented on behalf of the Nigerian Customs Service. This expression of support has paved the way for critical decisions that have advanced the objectives of the service. The supervisory role of the Ministry of Finance, Budget, and National Planning also exemplifies our commitment to strategic partnerships that promote transparency, efficiency, and good governance. Together, we have fostered an environment conducive to trade facilitation, revenue mobilization, as well as national security. As we inaugurate this magnificent headquarters, we must recognize that it presents more than just bricks, iron, and steel. It symbolizes progress innovation, and a resolute commitment to excellence. This state-of-the-art facility will serve as a hub for trade facilitation, for compliance, as well as strategic planning and capacity building. It will be the nerve center from which we steer our customs operations towards greater efficiency, effectiveness, and adaptability. I wish to express my deepest gratitude to our esteemed president for his unwavering support for his guidance and for his belief in the potentials of the Nigerian Customs Service to be a catalyst for national development. I hereby extend my heartfelt congratulations to the Nigerian Customs Service on this momentous occasion. May this new headquarters empower our customs officials to excel in their duties, 
fostering closer collaboration, and also to serve as a beacon of progress. Together, let us continue towards a more prosperous and secure nation. Thank you, everyone, for being here this morning. May Allah bless the Nigerian Customs Service. May Allah bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Thank you very much. That was the remarks by the Honorable Minister of Finance, Budget and National Planning and the Chair of Nigeria Customs Service Board. We are indeed motivated to perform our core functions of revenue mobilization, trade facilitation and suppression of smuggling. We are prepared to play uh, the documentary and the sound is intact. Can we have the documentary please? Thank you very much. Well, they are sort okay. to innovations spanning from the very first wheel to electronic vehicles. In 2002, members of the Nigeria Customs Service sought to create the first blueprint for a world-class facility that will speak volumes of the envisioned digital future of the Nigeria Customs Service. The painstaking work began on the 27th of March 2007. We sincerely apologize for the technical hitches. I shall now invite the chairman of the committee for this um, commissioning event, Deputy Controller General of Customs, Bashir Adewale. Adeni MFR for vote of thanks. Your Excellency, Mr. President, kindly permit me to adopt the already established protocols by the Controller General of Customs and the Honorable Minister. This is a note of appreciation to all our distinguished guests. On behalf of the Controller General of Customs, members of the NCS management team, and all officers and men, I wish to con convey our profound gratitude to Mr. President for making time to join us in creating history through the official commissioning of Customs House, Abuja. We are indeed proud to be associated with your success story of midwifing and nurturing difficult legacy projects into completion. We also want to register a warm appreciation to our distinguished guests and all our esteemed agencies, partners, service providers, vendors, and members of the organizing committee who have toyed with us on that very tight schedule to enable the realization of this feat. As it is often said, it is not happy people who are thankful. It is thankful people who are happy. We thank you all. Thank you, sir.
I shall now most respectfully invite the special guest of honor, His Excellency President Muhammad Buhari. <laughs> Thank you, please sit down. <laughs> Members of the Federal Executive Council, Controller General and Management of Nigerian Customs Service, Heads of Security and Intelligence Agencies, Members of Diplomatic Corps, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I have to apologize. I haven't gone through the prepared speech. So I'll just say what I believe about the customs. Um, firstly, uh, I made sure I give uh, the Ministry of Finance to a lady. This is to exploit the cultural behavior of all Nigerians. Once ladies are in charge, people too, feel too big to go to ladies. So I'm sure uh, peace will be allowed in the Ministry of Finance, where people will go and start lobbying for their contracts to be paid and so on and so forth. So they will feel too big to go to a lady. So I put a lady in charge. <laughs> that gave me a lot of peace. And as for Colonel Hamid Ali, to ask him to be in charge of customs, no matter what people said about uh, late Sina Abacha, may his soul rest in peace. Uh, I had to move to Kaduna State from Kaduna State because um, from detention I went back home and um, we were under Kaduna State. Not Kaduna, Kaduna State was not uh, on the political scene then. But uh, for the education and health of my family, this typical African SS you know, sickle cell anemia. I left my first two children, uh, a girl, Zuleha, and Musa, my first child. I love them because of SS. I, we didn't know about it here, technically, although we are uh, vulnerable to it, the Africans, generally. So I had to move to Kaduna, mainly for the education and health care of my children, although I was in retirement. Um, I deliberately refused to improve on my infrastructure, the house I had in, Kadu in Dora and the one in Kaduna. So that those who want to make trouble for me would have much less uh, source of trouble causing problem. I didn't build a house, I didn't build a school, I didn't do, I, I already said it, I, had, I haven't got one square inch outside Nigeria. So those who are following Nigeria leadership to condemn them on misappropriation and misbehavior, they will have a problem with me. <laughs> I think Khalil Hamid Ali, to make sure that uh, I have peace in my mind, I, 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 I again brought him here. Please note that from Lake Chad to Benin is more than 1,600 kilometers. Only God can effectively guard that border. So you need a person who will have the energy and the competence to effectively supervise. And I deliberately close the borders because knowing Nigerians, they order rice and give some Niger address and then they bring the rice here. And with our land and our potentialities, God, we thank God, Nigeria is favored. 
We have people, we have land, we have weather. How many nations are so lucky as Nigeria in the world? Very few nations are as lucky as we are. We thank God for that. So closing that border, 1,600 kilometers more than that, from Lake Chad to Benin. And Nigeria insists that they have to impress their neighbors and other people that they eat foreign rice. I said, no rice. You either you eat what you grow, you grow what you eat, or you die. I, I, I think uh, I, I try to make my point. And later, Nigeria appreciated it because it provides more jobs. People go back to the land. We have the land, and we produce what we eat. Let uh, whoever bring, uh, grow excess rice eat his own rice or sell it somewhere else, but not to Nigeria. And for people who think that uh, our neighbors can be a nuisance. Okay, there are nothing you can do with our neighbor. That was why when I became the head of state of the president, my first visit was to Niger, Chad, and Cameroons. Because neighborhood, based on personal and national issue, is very important. If you don't secure the confidence and cooperation of your neighbor, you are in trouble. If you are not in trouble, your children and grandchildren will be in trouble. So it's very good. I, I, I established the relationship with my neighbors. I said this a few things about my personal belief because I have only six more days to go. And uh, I try to plan to be as far away from Abuja as possible. And thank goodness I came from an area which is farthest away from Abuja. I said, if anybody force move, I establish good relationship with my neighbors. The Jewish people will defend me. Thank you very much. That was the remarks by the special guest of honor, His Excellency President Muhammad Buhari, GCFR. We are gradually coming to the end of this occasion. However, we have some announcements. There will be a group photo session at the quadrangle. The following dignitaries are expected to be at the quadrangle. The Chief of Staff to the President, Honorable Ministers, Chairman, House Committee, and Senate Committee on Customs, Heads of Agencies, Sister Securities Agencies and other MDAs, Members of Customs, Nigeria Customs Service Board, and Members of the Management Team of the Nigeria Customs Service. On this note, we have come to the end of the occasion the commissioning ceremony of the Nigeria Customs Service Headquarters, tagged as Customs House. May we all rise for the national anthem of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. <laughs> 